I am here to talk to you about Color Street. I had a good friend uh, introduce me to this product, gave me a tester to take home and put on my nails and see what I thought. And it just came with two different nails to put it on and it worked really well. So I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. And it's Christmas time, so I decided to go ahead and get a Christmas pack. <laughs> from beginning to end um, of opening the pack up and putting it on and um, you know what I thought about it and any difficulties that I may have had and then I'll go over um, what it looks like after a week and uh, and then two weeks and then I'm also going to kind of talk to you about my overall thoughts on it so take a look so here's the color straight pack here and it's got instructions on the back cut my nails down filed them down so I'm ready to take and open this up to see what we've got inside and we've got the color street nail prep pads at the nail file before applying color street 100% real nail polish strips. Wipe each nail thoroughly with the pad. So I am done wiping thoroughly with the pad. Now I'm going to take a pair of scissors. Oh no, it looks like there's a little tear section on here. So I'm going to tear this open. And we'll look to see what's inside here. I don't know if there, there's something about secrets. This is real nail polish and something about resealing it. If I'm supposed to reseal this bag, well, I've managed to tear the bag, so, <laughs> I guess, like, that. okay, so 16, so you've got, like, shapes for fingers and toenails, I don't know that, my toenail polish seems to last really good and for a long time, and I'm in Florida, so I wear flip-flops all the time, so I'm just gonna be doing my fingernails, also, I noticed somebody had said something about using, you can, one could be actually for, for two fingers so we can uh, cut it in half. So that's what I am going to attempt to do. Uh, it's supposed to be real, real polish, which I did use a sample already and it did last a really long time. It took a while before it, um, before it chipped so okay here we go let me try this out and <laughs> see what happens here so I'm gonna cut it and then there's supposed to be a top layer here so no I'm not doing it according to directions <laughs> Okay, so I made the mistake of thinking that, oh, I would just continue to cut them in half. So I did, 
I did cut it in half here, um, but it's not going to be long enough. So uh, not a good idea if you've got longer nails like I do. And I didn't think these were real long because these are actually short for, for me. But so I just realized that when these can completely tear off from each other. So that's what I did with the last ones. And then you've got the clear cover that peels off. And then this part I kind of I struggle with a little bit trying to like how do you get it how do you get it off of there but okay so it's off of the white and then, wait hold on see it was going in the order and like that's that's like that's too big so that's more that's not even that size where do I put this one like <laughs> you see that thing like, okay maybe it's thumb but it's still like not thick enough my, for my thumb I'm more that's my thumb but then this is my for my index finger and I think it's gonna go it's gonna be too big okay so, so since this is supposed to be real polished I'm just gonna take and peel it and look at that it did, it came right off, right along my nail. That's awesome. Feel free to fast forward through any of these boring parts, I could only imagine, as she files and she presses and she moves all the polish around. Okay. This is a good kind of test to see, can I pull it off, right? Can I take what I just put on and press down and pull it off? Or do I need to go yell for Sonny the Badger and have him come in and help use fingernail polish and <laughs> remove her and take it off? It's like, will you help me? Like, will you just help take off the polish? I messed up. Okay, so I removed that one. Okay, so I thought it'd be funny to show you guys. This is the mess that I had going on here on the other side of the camera. So what I have left here is this sheet, which I've now determined I need to have, except for my pinkies, um, but if I hadn't cut my nails down, there's no way I would have been able to do the halves on the pinky. But so now I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I have 10 fingers. So what am I missing here? Um, the only thing I can think of that I've done in the past is I've actually painted, um, painted my nails so I just put stickers on some of them and then I turn around and I just painted the others and then my trick is to you paint it and then you put glitter on the tips of your nails so maybe I'll do a video about that and show you how I would do glitter real glitter on the tips of my nails and that would keep the the polish on at least for a week definitely would not stay on there for three weeks but it did do a week so I only do my nails um, every weekend so, so here is exactly one week and one day. All right, so there was the video on, um, you know, what it looked like putting it on and also what it looked like after a week. So now it's actually been uh, two weeks. It's uh, New Year's Eve. And so hey, it's gonna be 2019 tomorrow. New beginning. So, okay, I'm gonna show you guys uh, my nails and try to get close-ups here of what it looks like after um, two weeks. So you're gonna notice that um, the ends are, you know, have come off. Um, 
but if I wanted to, and what I know other people have done is they have taken and uh, filed them down. And so by filing them down, my nails are really long anyways, and they grow really fast, as you can tell in two weeks. Um, you're starting to see back here um, by the nail beds. Um, so I could definitely file them down. My opinions, okay, so, well, I for sure had an issue with the fact that I could only get my all, all of my fingers done and I couldn't do my toes. And um, I have all this extra um, pack in here that's not enough to do, you know, 10 fingers again. So I would have to literally buy another pack. And in my opinion, it sucks. I mean, um, if you're if you're gonna do something like that, you know, put enough in, and then that's gonna make me want to buy them again. It did last really well, and I have used just stickers before. And when you put, put stickers on, what I found is the uh, this part up here next to the nail bed, um, they start peeling up right there. And so if I run my hands through my hair, um, then I'm always like catching it on that part. And I can say that um, they're, it's still nice and smooth. I'm starting to feel it catch just a little bit, but still, you know, pretty, pretty smooth. So the cost. So the cost is $13. And if you think about it, if I was to go get my nails done professionally, then it's definitely going to cost me more than $13 to do that. So is it cheaper? Yes. Oh, um, the other thing I was going to point out was um, it does say made in, made in a um, USA. I like that. Um, that's a plus to add on there. I didn't find a lot of options that I liked. I am a person that likes to wear black and white. I'm not very much into color. If I wear any color, it's maybe going to be a red. So it would be super cool if they did come out with a line that was geared towards us um, biker chicks. So if you are a rep for Color Street, um, go ahead and add your information. And then if you've used Color Street, I'd love to hear your feedback too. Let me know what you think of the product and if you would wear it or recommend it. And anything else that you guys want to add, I'd love to hear from you. Ride safe, my biker chicks. And if you like um, this video, make sure and subscribe to more of my videos. Until then, be safe and we'll see you next time.